Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a Q&A. And I did get a lot of questions on the Anonymous app, the one where you could just send questions, but it doesn't tell you who it is. I posted it on my Instagram and I got a couple DMs, but um, most of my questions are from the app, so I'm not going to, I can't tell y'all who asked. And I wrote it on a piece of paper because I'm filming with my phone and all my questions are on my phone, so... I just wrote it down just to make it easier and yeah let's get started okay so the first question was how to avoid cakey foundation by the way love your videos keep it up thank you and the way to avoid cakey foundation is really more like the application how you apply your makeup i think it's a really good idea to be using to like spray your face i don't know if y'all saw my last video but i sprayed my face a lot and it really helped to blend in my makeup and let it like get in my skin and especially when i'll go over with a beauty blender it really set the foundation down instead of just caking everything up and up and also it's best to start by a little not just applying a ton of foundation Do you want to start by a little put in a little bit and then just working your way up and when you see you have a good foundation then that's where you stop a lot of people tend to go in with a lot of foundation and it just cakes up and cakes up and then they go in with concealer and then it cakes up and i think my best tip for that is to start with a little bit of product and just work your way up so the next question is what would you recommend to get clear skin now i had really bad skin it was like two years ago I, I don't know it was like the beginning of last year the beginning of 2017 my skin was so bad you guys I had like really bad acne like it wasn't like oh acne here acne there oh, okay it'll get clear for like a week and then acne I'll get acne back no I had acne all over my face like all over and it really lowered my self-esteem but I tried a lot of products I tried um looking at other people's skincare routine none of it worked for me the only thing that worked for me was going to the dermatologist a lot of people don't have the money to go to the dermatologist i didn't have the money um my insurance paid for it my medicaid my medicaid paid, paid for it um so if you have medicaid then totally go for it now they do if you don't have a lot of acne you could easily get it like removed by like drugstore products or something you don't have to go to your dermatologist but i was like i had to go to a dermatologist because nothing worked for me so i don't really know what to how to answer that question because i don't have specific products to recommend but i do recommend if it's really bad i do recommend to go to the dermatologist because they will give you something and it'll help you a lot okay so the next one is one day do you see yourself as a cosmetologist um I think right now I like right now I like to do other people's makeup like for prom or stuff like that homecoming but for like my future I don't want to be a cosmetologist I want to be a businesswoman I want to have my own brand I want to have my own clothing line I have really big dreams and I know I'm gonna achieve them um, I promise y'all I'm gonna achieve them like I put it on everything I'm gonna have my own brand and I'm gonna have my own clothing line my own makeup brand and my own clothing line if i don't do that then something's up because i'm really committed to it and i promise i promise i'm gonna achieve my goal and i have so much motivation to do it um i look up to so many people and you know it's always good to have a good attitude about it and be positive so that's what i do that's what i'm doing i know i'm gonna get it done and i know i'm not gonna do it but a cosmetologist i don't really see myself doing that for lately when I get older but right now I do like to freelance makeup so the next question is how do you earn the money to buy makeup possible morning routine slash skincare routine PS I love you um I work with my uncle and I edit videos so I do have a job um and possible morning routine let me get a camera first <laughs> I'll do one but let me get a camera first because I'm currently um filming with my phone and I want a camera and I want a laptop I promise once I get my stuff I'm gonna be filming way more videos um, my videos aren't that bad well I like to think they're not that bad but you know I was gonna wait 
to start my YouTube so, until I got my camera and my MacBook. But, you know, I just, I was so eager to start and I was so excited. I was just like, you know what, let me just get my lights and I could just start off by filming with my phone. It's not a big of a deal, but once I get my camera, once I get my laptop and my videos don't look better, y'all better come for me because um, I want to have like really good quality videos. Another question is, what's the lip gloss you put on? It looks so good on you. The lip gloss, I'm, I'm assuming it's the picture I posted where I told her to ask questions. And I took it out. Oh, it's right here. It's the Artistry Gloss in Pink Nude. It looks like this. And it lights up. Like, when you open it, it has lights. Y'all see that? It's so cool. And it has, like, a mirror right here where you could just, like, apply it. I don't use that. <laughs> so. What age did you have your first boyfriend? Um, my first official boyfriend, I did talk to people, like, before this, and, like, consider them my boyfriend, but my first official, official boyfriend was, I was 14, right now I'm 15, it was May 4th, that was my first official boyfriend, May 4th, 2017. What's my favorite brand when it comes to drugstore makeup and high-end makeup? My favorite drugstore brand would be Maybelline because I really like their concealer and their Fit Me foundation. Now my favorite high-end high -end brand would be Anastasia. Hands down because I really like their eyeshadow palettes and I like their, um, their dip brows, their eyebrow products. Somebody asked foundation question mark. I'm assuming what's my favorite foundation. Let me get it out. My favorite foundation is my Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation. I did mention this on my last video. And it's so good. It's full coverage. I love the finish of it. It has like a like a velvety finish to it. I don't know. I just I really I really like this foundation. And it's drugstore. So, but when it comes to high end, I like my Kat Von D Locket foundation. <laughs> okay, so this is my Kat Von D foundation. It's really good. But like I said, if I had to choose out of both of these, hands down, I'll choose my Milani foundation. It's cheaper and I kind of like it more than my Kat Von D foundation. Okay, so next one is my favorite palette. My favorite palette has always been my Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia. I use it so much and it's so busted. It looks like this. It's so pretty, guys. Like, I'm so surprised that I haven't finished it yet. Like, I haven't gone through pan on all of them. I've gone through pan on four of them. And it makes sense because I use those shades a lot. So you could really do a very natural look with this palette, or you could do a very dramatic look. This is my favorite palette, and that just tells y'all that I'm in love with red tones, warm red red tones, and. This is just my type of palette. Now, on Thursday, th today's on a Sunday. I'm posting this on Tuesday, I think. I don't know. Only you guys know. On Thursday, though, I bought the Jaclyn Hill palette. It looks like this. Oh, it's so pretty. And I'm so excited to do videos with this eyeshadows, with this palette. So excited to start doing videos with this palette. What's your natural eye color? My natural eye color is brown. I am wearing contacts, um, they're prescribed. I wear clear and gray contacts. They're both prescribed and I do like to switch it up sometimes because I feel like, I think they're so cute so I like to wear them. But I don't wear them every day. What age? They just said age. <laughs> I'm 15 and I'm turning 16 on September 1st. At what age did you start wearing makeup? I started wearing makeup when I was in 5th grade. I don't know how old I was, but I was in fifth grade. And either fifth or sixth grade, I don't remember. I think I was sixth grade. I started wearing really thick eyeliner because I'll see my sister do it and I'll see my mom do it. So I started wearing really thick eyeliner and I'll like just splat foundation all over my skin and I'll go to school. It's funny because my mom didn't tell me anything. Like I look back and I look at old pictures and I'm like, oh my gosh, why didn't my mom tell me anything? That was not good and um, 
if I could go I mean I'm glad I started early because I guess you could say I'm good at the age I am right now because I did start really early I don't know how, why my mom let me but I'm glad she let me and I know like in my head I'm like oh my gosh why did she let me but at the same time I'm grateful she let me because it just let me practice and it let me go through that ugly stage I don't know how to explain it but I'm glad she let me Was making a channel ever in your future plans and how far do you want to get with YouTube? by the way you're extremely gorgeous thank you and was making a channel ever in your future plans? yes I've been wanting to make a YouTube channel since I was like in fifth grade, like I would, I would, I would be really into hair, and um, I'll see all sorts of hair videos and everything, DIYs, and I would always have a passion for like making videos. And I remember I used to make videos, like I used to make videos on my little niece's um, iPad. I have my sister has a channel. I'm sure a lot of y'all have seen it already, because when you search up my name, those videos come out. And it's videos of me and my sister singing and me and my my sister and my little niece just fooling around and i mean i'm glad we haven't deleted them because you know i could look back to them i haven't seen them in such a long time like it's been like a year but when i search up like my name to see if my channel pops up those videos pop up so if i want to see them then i'm sure they're down below in the suggested videos i'm sure they're there I could go see them just please don't send me anything about them those videos are that like forever gonna haunt me but I remember whenever we would make them and I'll be like so happy like <sighs> I don't know it's it's good looking back but right now I'm like oh my gosh why did we do those videos um yeah I used to always record videos on my phone but I would never post them never I'll, I'll make them and then I'll edit them obviously I'll edit them really ugly because I, I didn't really know and um yeah i'll edit them and then i'll delete them because i don't want anybody to see them so i'm just glad i finally started that was one of my 2018 um resolutions to start my youtube channel and i did it because i've been procrastinating and i've been too scared in 2017 but i finally did it and i hope i get far with this i really do do you wear your beauty blender and does it make it better yes you should wet your beauty blender it'll make your eye your eyeshadow it'll make your foundation look so much more flawless and so much more even so wet your beauty blender i totally recommend it i mean that's what they're for to wet them and apply your foundation when did you first start getting passionate about makeup now like i said i started makeup when i was like in fifth sixth grade um but when i actually started getting passionate about it was in eighth grade Right now, I'm a sophomore, but when I was in middle school, in 8th grade, that's whenever I started. I noticed I wanted to do something with makeup, and um, I mean, I wasn't good at all. Like, I wasn't, but I'm glad I started early, and I'm glad I got all this practice. Okay, guys, so that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope I answered a lot of, like, questions y'all really wanted to know. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to see more videos of me, then please subscribe to my channel, comment down below any video suggestions y'all might have or any other feedback, and like this video. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.